this is Final Master Link here. And I'm just going to do one, a, a quick little review of a game that is pretty good. And it, it just said it. It's Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 for Nintendo Wii. I think that kind of rhymes. It's just checking the memory. Now, one good thing about this game is you can actually use a GameCube control in, in, in order to play it. I find that a good thing. Now, basic menu here, Dragon History, it's basically the, the entire series. It has the Dragon Ball Saga, the Frieza Saga, Saiyan Saga, up to the Majin Buu Saga, and then it has Special Saga for things like Broly, and that's based off some movies like Wrath of the Dragon, and stuff like that. Ultimate Battle, now that's kind of like, uh, like an extra. You don't need to go to it at all, it's just kind of an extra. You can get some cool Z items from it, or Z points. Dragon World Tour, this has been around. It's it's the basic martial arts tournament that you can participate in. There's a total of five tournaments that you can go into, including the, including the regular World Martial Arts tournaments, and you can go to the Cell Games, and you can go to this one called Yamcha Games, which has its own specific rules for each one. You can do duel, you can just duel with another person, who can like play with a we we remote in a nunchuck, or they could play with GameCube controller. Either way, the Dragon Net Battle that's the Wi-Fi, which I think it's pretty lagging. At least I have I haven't looked up any other videos for it, so I might have to get back to you on that one. Evolution Z, using Z items you can enhance your character in different ways, like make them faster, stronger, give them special abilities like increased flight, and uh make your uh, key blast more powerful and stuff like that. Ultimate training, that's the basic um, practice session or you could in practice se in practice session you can basically fight anyone you want in the game as long as you have them unlocked of course. You can train them as long as you want to and their health will automatically recover. And it's basically for practicing your moves and learning how to play the game. Data Center you can enter a password that you could probably like get off YouTube for like special characters. You can get um, there are these like Red Patora per people that you can get where they have like amazing stats and they actually recover HP. That's pretty cool. Character reference. Um, this one it basically has a biography of each character that you unlock, such as you know the main ones like Goku, Krillin, Piccolo. And also the bad guys like um, Frieza, Cell, and Majin Buu, and stuff like that. He even references uh, some of the Dragon Ball characters too, such as Master Roshi, Chi Chi, Demon King, Piccolo, stuff like that. General, um, I mean, Mercenary Tao, and stuff like that. Options, this is basic, adjust settings like, um, you know, like whether you want to save or load game data. Or if you want to change the battle setting, like make your opponent stronger in the um, in the dragon mode or in the dragon history, we're just gonna go to a dragon history real, real quick. You can select scenario. There's Saiyan Saga, Frieza Saga, Android Saga, Majin Buu Saga, Special Saga, Dragon Ball GT Saga, Dragon Ball Saga, What If Saga, and the credits because I already beat the game 100%. Before each battle in the Dragon History mode, it'll give you like a, it'll just give you a basic prologue of what's going on and what you're about to do. Now this one is the fight against Raddus, 
which you're actually supposed to lose, but it's okay if you um win. Now the controls for the Wii Remote. It's actually not that bad. I find it very nice. Now the A button is where you just, it's the basic attack, attack button, punch and kick and stuff like that. You can keep up, you press, you press B. If you press B you do a key, key blast. If you hold the B button you can do a charged key smash. If you hold A and B then it'll do a guard. And if someone's shooting a bunch of um, key blasts at you, you can just shake the Wii remote and it'll knock it out of the way. Well, if he threw some at me, then I could. Come on, throw something. Throw some at me, Radis. Also, to grow, to grab the opponent, you have to like do a hugging motion with your Wii remote, which is kind of weird, but it works. You know, kind of like you're grappling them. It'd be easier to stun them first. That way they don't, um... Now I'm kind of sucking right now, but this is the first one. Besides, Radis is actually supposed to be much stronger than you. It follows the storyline very well, but I think it misses a lot of the fights. I mean, in the uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2, I thought it had a lot of, um... It, ha it had a ton of fights. Maybe a little too much, but it definitely kept me busy. I have it for the PlayStation 2, by the way. So I'm not like 100% used to these, um... I'm not 100% used to these controls yet, but I, I got them pretty down. Now if you press the 1 button, certain events will happen. Like a little, like a little dialogue will play, or you'll switch characters. Usually depending on how you're doing or how much time has passed when you're playing the game. Now to charge up your Kai, you have to hold down the hold the down button on the Wii remote. In order to do uh, moves, you got to do special motions with the nunchuck. Like for that explosive wave, I had to hold the... I had to hold the left, um, hold the left, um, directional pad, and I had to press forward with the, and then go to the B button. Like it says, right there in the top left corner. Now this is what it's called. Now during things like that, when blasts collide, you can just keep on checking the Wii remote and you'll win. It's not too hard to win those. I'm glad I got it in this review, actually. That's basically it. Definitely worth it if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan, like I am. That's pretty much it, so bye.